Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another plan with me. And this week I'm combining a couple of different things to make my own spread. So the first thing I'm gonna use is this September sub from Planner-esque. And I'll show you guys that. I just gotta like pull it apart from the rest of my stickers. So this is like a feather tribal kit from Planner-esque. And she recently redid her kits and changed a couple of the sheets around. So I really like how they look with the new format and it means that she put in new stickers. So a lot of these aren't usually in her kits and I'm so glad she revamped this because they look amazing and I can't wait to use those. There's also a washi strip sheet as well. But then I'm gonna be using this sheet from the polka dot planner that someone sent to me. I wanted to have a, a little bit more Aztec tribal feeling and I think that this would be a really great way to complement the kit while getting a little bit more animals and stuff involved. Of course, I have a lot of other stickers I'm gonna use as well, but I will talk you through those when I use them, so let's get started. I'm gonna do the washi strips first and put one above the dates and one below the dates, as well as this payday sticker on Monday. Then I'm gonna go and use my wedding countdown stickers. These make it so obvious how quickly time is passing and we are like 20 some days out or less than 20 days out now and I'm kind of freaking out a lot about it. Like I'm so excited obviously to get married and I just can't wait, but it's also like the point where anxiety really hits in and you're not sure like if everything's done or you're forgetting this huge important part of it and it's all like detail oriented now and I'm just like stressing out. Like on Sunday, we'll be two weeks out. Two weeks out for a wedding that I've been waiting for for about a year and a half. That's just, it's insane how like long it takes to get to like a certain date, like maybe you're waiting for a vacation or something. It always seems like it's so far away. And then in a blink of an eye, you're like 14 days away from it. It's nuts. Okay, now let's do some videos or mark when I am filming. So I think I'm going to like makeshift something. So I have these little icons, but then I also have these labels and I want to make sure that the colors are consistent like I don't want to use my filming labels because my color is just a little too bold so I'm going to try and figure this out I think I might just use the hearts and the stars and make like a variation of that so right now I only know that I have a video on Tuesday and Thursday I want to do one on Saturday I just can't figure out exactly what to do yet so I think I will still put down one of these label strips and then just figure it out as we get closer. Ah, that's fine, I'll just put the heart one at the bottom or at the side. I was going to do like every other, like a heart one and then the star one and then another heart one, but I just got distracted <laughs> with my life. So we'll just add this over here. And if I don't end up using it, I can just write something in instead. I need a heart checklist for Sunday's new releases. Now I'm gonna go over to the sidebar and add in one of these quote boxes, this one in particular. And then I'm gonna add the this week header. I just really like that it says this week. I think that's a cool header type and put it on the first checklist. Then I'm gonna flip it up and write in all of my to-dos. I'm gonna go in with this bear and put him down at the bottom. of the to-do list. There you go, sorry. I didn't realize you couldn't see it. I'm trying a different angle of my tripod this week because I'm constantly seeing my Nigel Thornberry nose pop into the filming space and I feel like an idiot. So I've switched it up a little bit so I'm still trying to figure out how it like all fits into frame. Taking this Bill Do sticker and then putting it up on top of Wednesday for my credit cards. And now I'm gonna go through with the half boxes and the larger Sharpie to write in all of the different days I'm doing orders. I'm doing orders a lot this week because we did take that 
long weekend. And then I'm also gone this weekend as well because, I mean, who doesn't want a crazy schedule of events right before your wedding that have nothing to do with your wedding? So I have a lot of orders to do over the course of the week. Plus, we have Alex's sister Jenny visiting us, and she has a two-year-old and I think a one-year-old. I don't remember how old he is. He's a baby. They're both here, so it's been... A really weird transition and um, adjustment because obviously we don't have kids so we're not used to like the time it takes for kids and um, we're just trying to adjust to that so I have a feeling I will be doing orders every single day this week just because time is different here now so I'm gonna write those down I'm gonna use one of these full boxes with the white space to put up here Actually, I think I'm going to try and use a different color. That's a little too soft compared to all the other soft things over here. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to take these, the Coffee Monster Co's emojis because I am filming, editing, and uploading this video that I'm filming right now. It kind of shows the progression of what I'm doing without actually having to write it out. And now I'm also going to add this new releases one over to Sunday. I'm also going to be releasing some of our sub sticker sheets on Sunday as well. On Saturday, we are going on yet another trip. So I'm going to take one of these road stickers. Actually, I am going to use this heart for whoop sale because we are gonna be gone while the whoop sale's going on. So it starts at 2 p.m. on Saturday, but I think I will just use that space for the reunion. So I'm taking that full box that I had before. Oh no, that's fine. Putting it there to write family reunions. Then I'm gonna add in this little fox right at the bottom. And of course, there has to be a car on the road, so I think I'll use this pink one. Now I'm gonna go in with more of the decorative boxes and put them throughout the spread. I'm gonna add in a heart checklist for Friday. There's just a lot of stuff we need to get done before we leave, so I'm just gonna put that up near the top and leave a room for a header. I wanna prep for our whoop sale on Friday, make sure everything is all set and we have all of our like packs together. So I'm gonna do that. And then there's also a bridal shower on Sunday that I didn't put a sticky note down for, but I definitely know that there is one, so I'm going to use another half box for that. I've got to put a car on the road home, so I'm going to use a blue one. So I'm going to flip it up and make it a little bit easier to work on the first half of the week. So Monday already happened, and I know what happened, so it makes it a little bit easier to put down sticky note or put down stickers and everything. So I'm going to use some of these half heart checklists to make this work. So I'm going to put down this one here. I'm kind of doing like the closest to a no white space you can do without taking it too seriously spread this week. I kind of just decided that's how I want to do it. So I'm going to put groceries on top of that and write down Meyer and Costco. We had barbecue chicken for dinner, so I'm just going to use one of these little labels for that. And then go in with this last half box. I'm gonna add in one of these emojis from the like shop owner kit. And put it right on the side. I also laid out the October sub on Monday, so I'm gonna use one of these labels as well and put that. Then I'm gonna use one of these baby flags because I'm pretty sure they fit up in the corner to cover up the watercolor. I'm gonna use one of these like label blank ones at the bottom of the full boxes to write Jenny visiting. And then since I am trying to do this no white space, white space thing, I'm gonna put down one of these washi strips up at the top just to kind of fill that space in and then put Jenny visiting right by it. And then while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna add in this fox to the bottom of Wednesday just because I know it's such a big sticker and I wanna use it, so. And 
And then I'm gonna see if there's room, there is some room for me to add in this um, deer as well. Because the deer is very big and I kinda just went and did my thing. Maybe I can cover up this feather. I wanna water our plants after I finish this video, so I'm just gonna use one of those labels at the bottom of the full sheet again. To write water plants. And then I'm gonna add in one of these perfect papery plant stickers. I'm gonna use this row of mushrooms right here kind of all over the place, but that's really how I like to plan. I just, if I have an idea, I'm gonna put the sticker down and not really worry about doing things one day at a time. I just find that that works easier for me because I tend to work on a very flexible schedule. So that's just how I like to do it. So moving on again to Tuesday, another dinner label is in order. So I will be making lasagna, adding in some decorative stickers to the big open space. I'm gonna use this last giant box, and but first I'm gonna write print new releases on it. Then I'm gonna add in another one of these emoji stickers to the top area. I think I will put this little flag right here to help fill in the space a little bit more. Maybe include one of these laptops as well because I do plan on designing a little bit more for Sunday's releases. You guys know how I don't like the start and ends of these roads, so I'm just gonna add this car label to the top of that one to kind of appease that issue I have. And so let's flip up and try and fill in these white spaces as well. Gonna add in this little movie marquee, but I'm actually gonna use it just for Netflix watching and put this little TV at the top. Gonna use these balloons for the bridal shower. I think I will put this extra checklist right here. All right, so I added this little owl up there and switched over where the mushrooms are because I could use the space just to write in any notes or add a photo or something if I want. And if you guys haven't noticed, I tend to really ignore the times on the hourly. I like it still. I still use the hourly over the vertical because I don't really segment my days anymore. Everything kind of blends together in this weird work life combo. So if I don't want the hours or times, I, I tend to organize things based on like when in the day I do them. So like we did go grocery shopping in the afternoon, but I'm not really guided by times or time limits. So I just use them more as guidelines of like a schedule. But if you are ever wondering if you can use the hourly, you can easily use it and not actually pay attention to the hours. So I think I'm gonna put an appointment sticker down here on Friday because I really wanna get a haircut. And I am the kind of person that has the hardest time like convincing myself to go get one. So I think I'll just put it down here. And if I don't do it, I can cover it up with something else. But I really need to get one before the wedding so that everything is like all set and done. So I think, yeah, there is this little cute pink icon hair sticker thing. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add another scoop the poop sticker up here, I think. And then I have my half week and full week spread stickers. I'm just going to use these last two colors. I know that they don't necessarily match with the spread, but I'm just going to make them work anyway. That way I can use up this sheet. I'm going to add in one of these cute RV stickers because we will be in the RV again on Saturday. Then I'm also gonna add one of these Queen Bee Designs laundry clothing lines to Wednesday because I need to make sure I get it done. And these are really cute ways of marking laundry without having to be like, I need to do laundry. We also desperately need to mow the lawn, so I think I'm gonna convince Alex that he needs to do that tomorrow. So I will add another one of these. 
Then I'm gonna add this day off sticker from Navy Wife to the bottom by the deer legs. I think it'll look okay covering them up a little bit, not too much. Now I did decide on what color, let's do this one. Because it is really cut out, I think it'll be fine because you can still see the legs around it. I'm gonna add in one of these picnic stickers from the Family Fonts. I don't have the reunion one because I used that for my monthly view, so I'll just use that instead. And then maybe the road trip one. I really like just adding some font stickers in just to get a little bit of a variation. So I'm gonna see if there's any more spots I can add. All right, now I also still have this decorative sheet from Planner-esque and a few more on the polka dot planner sheet. So let's add in a couple more and call this done. All right, I have added in a couple more things here and there to fill out the spread like hump day and little icons and like houses and stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I used up from the kit. I used the whole sheet of the polka dot planner decorative stickers. But the kit itself, I have a couple of labels left. This one little sheet on the full boxes, some washi strips, quite a few stickers on this sheet, as well as this other functional decorative sheet. I have a bunch of heart checklists left, tons of labels, and I didn't use any of the deco sheet. So I used quite a lot of stickers and still have probably enough for a decent spread left while having a very full spread. This is one of the most full spreads I have done in a like sit down plan with me. Usually at the end of the week they look like this, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different and use a lot of stickers right out the bat. So I love this and I'm also gonna add in this love what you do crafted van magnetic bookmark to the top and show you guys last week. So this is how my September sub, yeah, my oh hello September the next chapter book sub turned out. I added a lot of photos from our trip up north and just kind of let it be how it wanted to be. But this week I love, I love that it's pastel. I just think it looks so good. And it's one of the last summer themes that I will be doing because next week I'm doing a mystery plan with me with Chrissy from Pretty on Paper. And then the next week is my wedding spread. And then I have a ton, literally a ton already of fall kits that I want to use. So it was nice just to relax with a little bit of pastels before we really hit the heavy fall kits. But that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel and helps to continue to grow everything. And I will see you guys in my video on Thursday. Bye!